Ross Simpson, well, so we're here at Anglesey and um, a new 600 to play with. Um, I know you've done a couple of rounds on it, but it's still very new to you. Uh, I know you've come up with Thundersport GB through Super Teens, uh, Aprilia Super Teens, and then the Aprilia RRV 450 GP. How much different does this feel to either of those? Uh, the ZX6 is just a completely different bike, to be honest. Um, I'm learning just every time I go out on it, really. Um, just the Super T and the 450, just all about momentum, corner speed, but this is all about going in deep and just firing out the corner. It's just a completely different bike to ride, really. So well, we'll come back to this in just a second, but perhaps you'd like to just say to everybody at home, like, uh, how much it meant to first of all do the super teens and the rrv 450 and how you feel that it helps you as a rider to have done that as a prequel to this uh, kind of class well like when i done super teens and 450s we had like big groups of battles so they taught me a lot of racecraft for the 600s and like yeah, it's just really, there was really hard battles in that and it made me progress as a rider because it made me like gain corner speed and how to break late to pass people. Just different kind of aspects to like become a better rider really. Yeah, well I know when you're in the RRVs, I mean I can remember, I think it was Cadwell or somewhere and like, I think uh, 15 came across the line within one second. I mean, to, like, to be one second behind the leader and be 15 is just head banging, isn't it? I know it's ridiculous. Like, even like you think, oh, 15's a bad result, but like, you know, when you're like a second behind the leader, you, you don't know what to think, really. So, fast forward to the 600, um, and you feel that you've taken to it straight away. Um, yeah, like, I done like one track day on it, and that was. Um, big stepping stone and then yeah I've only done like two rounds but I'm learning every time I go on it I feel more comfortable every time I get on the bike which is the main thing because this year all I want to do is just learn and progress as much as I can get some solid results and then next year actually push for a championship hopefully well obviously everybody can see from the difference uh, between you and me in height is that uh, it was always going to be something you're going to have to move up to pretty quickly but the difference in the power and the way that the power is delivered do you find that scary at all or, or is this just a natural progression for you and you feel comfortable at first the power was a bit it was a big step but eventually you do get used to it and you kind of want more eventually to be honest but yeah, I think my height really suits this bike because I can stand it up quicker and yeah, eventually I think I can hopefully be up there at the sharp end every weekend, hopefully just progress up to that really. We've had some good results actually, as to be said, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to highlight the thing about the Super Teens and the 450s because I am a firm believer in the youth um, strategy of a building, brick building as you go through your career. And I just, I can't help saying that, you know, you're doing it all the same way. Not everybody can be Mark Marquez and be world champion at 23 or whatever, you know, whatever he is. But um, no, it's a, it's a fantastic machine a beautiful looking bike and I noticed that uh, it's all been graphicked up there by Will Hodgson uh, he's a 450 rider um, yeah his graphics are really good for the team I race in which is JDF racing can't thank them enough obviously for everything they've done especially John Davis he's giving me a very good bike um, yeah he's, he's very good yeah, surprisingly today he told me he was a landscape garden designer, which is like something I didn't know. You learn something every day. Well, obviously we all will know that John Davis has been in this uh, for some time now, some years, and he's brought some serious riders through um, the various classes. I, I haven't seen him promoting anybody on a 600 for a while, though, so this is quite new for him, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think, like... Uh, like Chrissy Rouse, he was on the 600s after him and stuff, and Cal Cooper as well, um, Ben Luxton now as well. But yeah, to stay at Thundersport with him, yeah, I think, yeah, it's good for his team and stuff to like progress into bigger bikes because he obviously has the 450s as well. So yeah, it's good for him as well. 
Excellent. Well, good luck, Ross, and I hope you have a great weekend. And we will be watching with great eagerness. Thank you very much. Cheers.